All right, so to gain certificate in the HubSpot CMS developer, you need to pass the examination and also the practicum. I already done the examination. I've got 30 over 40 score. And for the practicum, they are very strict with the direction. You cannot just download the boilerplate and change it or like, you know, tweak, remove the, the, extra, the extra modules and then pass it over to them. I've done that and they rejected my application. So you really need to code your theme from scratch. And it's actually easy. They have given or they already provided the um the instruction in this in this one. Like if just you're lazy to check all of the videos, then you you rather to just, you know, clone the boilerplate. But yeah. In this video i'm going to show you how you can do this process so i'm not sure if we're going to have a part two for this one but yeah let's just jump in with the direction so it says review all the requirements on this page and you need to create a theme from scratch um they actually stated in here that you shouldn't be actually there is a like they stated something in here that you shouldn't be downloading the boilerplate which i did but anyway, so let's jump in first with this one. It says that you need to have a CSS folder and like you need to have all of these folders, okay? So I'm gonna open my Visual Studio Code and then let's create a um, a new window. I'm gonna open new win window here. Um, let's create a folder, open a folder and like put it even here and let's type it housebot exam with that and then before we do all like before we create all of the folders we need to run the hubspot cli so go into the terminal where's the terminal i'm gonna use a bash here and the code i use obsidian for all of my cheat sheets so this one so you put in just get bushed oh what's wrong with you dear so get bushed let's okay let's do it again it's freezing so yeah so i'm gonna open the terminal and use a git bush i'm gonna install the cli there should be a node module after that and then we will authenticate our house bot. so it's installing the dependencies and the the hubspot cli for us you should be able to see a node module after that and then let's check our cheat sheet so we need to have we need to authenticate our HubSpot. It may take long, so I'm gonna pause this, and then once I'm once it's already final, I'll I'll be back. Okay, so yeah, so it's ready, done. We can then let's authenticate it. H is in it, and click on Y to copy the personal key access, and it should open a new um account and then i will click on view more i'm going to use this one and then okay actually is this the right one hold on i don't think that's the right one let me let's try it in it again um okay let's let's do it again i'm gonna open another terminal and type in ages in it Oh, so let's remove the YML because we did something wrong. So each is in it. I'm going to type in yes. And we'll select the right developer tools. And then I'm going to show. Oh, boy, I'm showing it. So yeah. So copy. And then paste it over there. And then let's just type it bookworm head. 
and then it should generate a HubSpot YML thing after that. Enter a unique URL. So if this happened, this shit happened, you can just go back, open a new terminal again, because you might have some typo earlier. That's why that, that, that pops up. So just H is in it. Why it's taking too long. I already have the key actually. So that, and then the worm head. Let's just use that instead. And it should generate a YML here, that one. This one, which is creating a folder. So we need to have all of these folders. And I have a cheat sheet in here on my Obsidian. So you need to create a folder theme name. So let's call that um, H, what should I call it? Um, let's just call it HubSpot Practicum. And then what's next? So you need to add to go into the folder itself. So CD HubSpot Practicum. Oh, did I spell it wrong? CD HubSpot Practicum. It's not going there. Copy paste. Copy paste that. Okay, so ready in that I made a typo. And then we will add these directories, this folder, and add another folder in there. So as you can see here in the HubSpot practicum, there is CSS, images, JS, modules, and templates. Let's double check under practicum, CSS, modules. What's that? CSS. So we need to have a modules section. Okay, so we need to have a section as well and a partials. Okay, so I will go into the CD templates and then I'll add another directory called partials okay and what else um you also need so sections are fine so let's go back to the cd actually let's go back so it's cd modules is it cd modules Oh, you, you need to have a section. Call at least one of the modules, add a context parameter. Yeah, actually you don't need to add another dunder folder for that. So let's go into the HubSpot practicum again, because we're gonna be working in that folder. Okay, and clear that. And then next would be use page builder to create a template. Make sure it behaves like this GIF. Okay, so it should behave like this GIF. So what will I do is I need to create a template first. It says at least one template and a one partial. So how you can create a, um, a template. So go back to your Visual Studio code. Again, I have a cheat sheet in here. And this is the code how to create a template. So HS create. So I'm going to call, I'm going to, this is the code HS create. And then the folder, which is the templates. And then what's the name of the template? So let's just copy paste that and go into our Visual Studio code and then paste it HS create and this is the syntax of creating a template. This templates is the folder and then the name of the template. So if I'm going to enter it, it will be 
you will be asked a question what type of template you want to create is it a page email partial google partial blog listing or blog post we will create a page temp template as per instructed in the practicum okay and then you should able to see this one here called basic html now we also need to have the other thing in here is you need to have a partials for the footer and the header so again we'll copy paste that but instead of straightly going to the templates oh you cannot copy paste it okay so again h is create templates and then the templates folder and the partials folder and then we will create a header header template and you will be asked what kind of template it is we want it to be a global partial as instructed in the practicum okay so let's go back to the visual studio code already have the header now we need another partial which is the footer so again let's copy paste that and then type in partials and then type in footer it asks again what type of template you want to create we want it to be a global partials and you should have a two html in your partial folder which is the header that html and the footer that html all right, so already done this process. We already created the corresponding folders. I think I need to also create a section folder. But yeah, we'll, we'll work on that later. But we already established the two partials, which is the footer and the header. And then we also already have a one template file, which is the basic um, template. So in this video later, um, on a part two series, I'm going to show you how you can call these partials to your template file. And then we'll work on the fill.json thing. And then we can uh, create on, we're going to implement the CSS, the custom CSS into our templates. Because the goal is we wanted to have this kind of finished templates. Um, otherwise, our practicum our application will get rejected so yeah see you on my part two series and again if you have any question about hubspot you can use my link below um consult me and also if you want to know the cheat sheet you want to know the answer of the examination that i did which i got 30 over 40 score use my link below thank you and have a great day